Right. One mile, turn left on US 95 North. <gasps> What's that you say? We are not taking a right on Hewen? Oh my. Where are we headed? Are we not going to the cactus? I guess not. Let's see where we're going. Well, with the temperature supposed to be in the mid to upper 90s in another day and a half to two days, we decided no boondocking this time. No. So where are we going? We'll show you when we get there. In one half mile, arrive at Hostler's RV Park on the right. Well, we took a left on Main Street. We are headed to an RV park in, in Quartzite. Quartzite. <laughs> I know, it seems kind of crazy, doesn't it? We just don't have enough solar to run our air conditioner for highs in the 90s. And with the pets, it's just not good to have them in that heat. Nope. So we're coming up here to Hassler's RV Park. Why? Why? For full hookups. Because it's cheap. <laughs> it's a Passport America Park. <laughs> in 400 feet, arrive at Hassler's RV Park. Hey, right. And they take credit cards where some of these places turn did right, not. Right. So here's where we're going to be staying. Oh my. Oh Hold goodness. On. Maybe we don't want to go in this way. We can't. We're going to have to go down, turn around somewhere. What's that look like over there? Oh, maybe. Yeah, office. Whew. Okay. That looked weird. <laughs> There we go. We're going to take you on a little tour of Quartzsite in April. So April of 2023. Yep, yeah, here's where we're staying at Hassler's RV Park. And so we're just going to go around and show you where it's generally very, very busy and how not busy it is and how many businesses are closed for the summer. So over here we have Silly Owls, and it is still open, of course. It's busy. Yep, it's still busy. So that's busy. Here is one section of where all the uh, big, there's like that great big grocery tent. That one's like empty. Judy's stuff is closed. Got stuff over here still going on. The flags, the windshield guy, the uh, sign carving. They're still open. This is Main and Central. Yep. Um, the big RV dealer is over there. But it looks like La Mesa is maybe selling that lot. We'll see. And yeah, they got a big sign up. Yep. There's usually some vendors and stuff over there. They're not there. Not very much traffic. So RV Parts and Service is closed. There's quiet times. They're done, done. They quit. The doggy Spa looks like it's done. Taco Mio is still going on. Market is going on. Uh, that place looks closed. Here's the Main Street Laundromat. It's still open. I don't know about the little restaurant. Uh, Haircutting place still open. Of course the Chevron. Still going on. Let's see what else we got going on here. The Barbie's place uh, looks like it's still going. There's signs Fresh. there. Coyote Fresh grocery market. Um, this place looks like it's closed. So does that one. They were thrift stores. Patty's RV Park still Patty's open and RV. selling propane. Yep, Patty's RV still selling propane. That's normally where we get it. Uh, Discount Solar says it's closed for the summer. They're closed. All 
these lots have been vacant for quite a while. And over here we got the Oasis Bookstore. It looks like it's still open. I don't yeah. know how they stay in business. Yep, they're open. Then the camels that are usually right here are gone. They're usually only here for maybe a few weeks. Yeah, because it got too hot for the camels. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine that, too hot for the camels. So uh, that's one quarter of where we're going to show you. So now we are on Kewen headed back towards town like we're coming from our boondocking spot and here's tumbleweed and that's where we normally go to get water and to dump tanks and it's pretty empty they're usually quite full in january anyway no big lines at the water or dump today wide open. This area usually has RVs in it. You know, that sign right there, that for sale sign on this lot, that's the for sale sign that's down there by Lazy Days. Now you see that everywhere. That's the, the one realtor that's trying to sell all these lots. I don't know if one person owns them and they're just trying to dump them. Uh, do you mean La Mesa? What did I say? You said Lazy Days. Okay. I think it was, yeah, La Mesa. All that's empty. And then we've got this place over here that we thought would be up and running for, because we saw it in January, I mean in December. And we thought, ooh, they're getting that all ready for January. Nope, it wasn't open in January either. So nothing going on down here. I have no idea what's going on here, but somebody's hanging out there. Guitar Shack, I don't know. So we're at the corner of Kewen and Central, Tyson Wells, and there is like nothing going on. Nothing on the sign. There's usually a bunch of banners over there. Nothing on the Tyson Wells Showgrounds RV Park sign. There's nobody even in that. Look at that. That's yep. That road. is done. They are empty. Yep. Some of these people were still packing up when we came through here uh, yesterday. But it's all empty. Look at this. Never ever seen it like this. It's crazy. Look at that. Couple tents over here, a couple RVs. Yeah, couple that little shops still open. Big but, tent grocery area over there. But they are still in. They are tearing it down. Yeah, I think the grocery tent stays all year round. There's where the parking area is and a bunch of flea market vendors. This is the Tyson Wells game store. Yep, here's the game store. On the other side of this storage is where they have the big tent in January. Right here on the corner is where the Gringos Mexican food usually is. It's really good. Yeah. Some of these vendors are still open, like the big grocery. Big grocery place is still open. The lady that sells clothes down at the end, she's still there for another couple weeks, we were told. But people are still tearing down. People are leaving. It's April 8th today, so about mid-April is when everybody's gone, gone. Yeah, usually by April 30th, May 1st. The only S folks left are the, are the residents of Quartzsite. And some stragglers. Um, stragglers. So we here. We have never yeah. been here this late. Um, in the season. In the season, yeah. So it's just kind of interesting to see it. Um, in April <laughs> it's gonna be in the high 90s this week so I wonder if a lot of the boondockers 
are going to be heading out <laughs> like like us hiding out in an RV park. Heading to higher ground is what most yeah. of them do. Dave said we're getting spoiled and it's like, uh, not spoiled. We're just there for the air conditioning. So it's not a fancy schmancy RV park, but it's got full hookups. So that counts when it's too hot. It's up here is where the, I think it's called Desert Gardens. And it's usually full of um, rock vendors. <laughs> uh, yeah, Desert Garden Showgrounds. So there's a few RVs left in there. But uh, nothing else going on. Loves, of course, is busy. Stays busy. Stays open. So now we're at the other end of town and we are crossing over uh, 10, right? That's 10? Mm -hmm. Interstate 10. This is the truck stop corner. So Love's was on the other side of the highway. You've got Carl's Jr., Burger King. Um, there's a mobile station. There's a Terrible's over here. Yuck Donald's is yeah. over here too. <laughs> That's what Russ from RV or TV <laughs> calls it. Yuck Donald's. <laughs> So, uh, Gem World, that's a fun place to go if you make jewelry or you like rocks, like me. Been in there. It looks like they're still open for a little while longer. Um, we got the Fresh Jerky Place, they're still open. The uh, Times Three Family Restaurant's still open. We ate there with our friends Tommy and Christine. There's still some stuff going on. Not much. Not much, but this is, you know, pilot and everything. They're always open. Chamber of Commerce. There's some other vendors here. Looks like they're closing up. Some of them. I don't know. Maybe these always stay open. We've never been in these. Uh -uh. This is where the other uh, pizza place is. Yeah. Outback Pizza. Outback Pizza and Bar. This kind of stuff. I think this stuff probably stays open all the time. Because they might get people that come through here traveling. There's Karen's Cafe. Yacht, We've yacht, never been there. The Yacht Club is closed for the oh, season. Yep, Yacht Club closed for the season. And that stuff's been closed for a while. So over here, uh, K and B Tools are open. Dave's Gro or Nick Ken's Discount Grocery. He's still open. Horny Toads is there. Uh, there's a hot dog vendor back there. The rug lady, she's still there. I think they all are here year round. Um, Stagecoach has a new Chinese restaurant. They're open. They're looking for wor workers. Dollar General, of course. Big market. He's still open. It's a Desert Life RV sales and service. That's kind of a new area. Yeah, they're open. They're open. This place has uh, groceries and some hardware stuff. And then these RV places are open. Solar Bills. Solar Bills is open, but it looks like they're getting ready to close. Huh, there's a Salvation Army thrift store over there. I wonder if they're open. We've never been over there. A lot of the RV parks are very empty. Very empty. And then here's where we're staying. So we did the whole big loop on the main roads. We haven't gone up and down side streets, but we don't normally do that anyway. That's why we've never been to the Salvation, St <laughs> Salvation Army thrift store. So there you go. That's it. There's the big metropolis of Quartzsite in the beginning of April. Well, this is the RV park that we have been staying at here in Quartzsite in April because it's been too hot to boondock. It's Hassler's RV and Mechanical Zoo. I don't understand where the mechanical part comes in, but there's a lot of iron work and junk art. It's pretty interesting.
there's a lot of bunnies around here. <laughs> there it goes. holding up a cactus. It's an airplane that crashed over there. Must have been really pretty at Christmas time because they have a lot of lights on all this stuff. So here's where a bear has been coming to the potty zone. There it is, Hassler's potty zone. but it's made out of a bunch of horseshoes and they use the horseshoe nails as the little spines coming out of the cactus.
there must have been a tornado here because somehow that bicycle ended up in the cactus. Actually, it's not a cactus, it's a palm tree. There's a real palm tree. There's a not real palm tree. There's two bunnies. Bear stop. They're right here. There's another one over there. They're frozen. If they freeze, can't see them. Bear sees them. Look at her. She sees the bunnies. to play with the bunnies. It's a buzzard up in that one. And here we are. We are parked right next to a cactus. Our cactus. Ours has a claw. Look at the sunset. Our final sunset in Arizona. Oh yeah, this huh? Is it. I don't know if he'll be able to get it. This will be the last see. sunset we experience in Arizona for the 2022-2023 winter season. snowbird season. We're snowbirds now. With no snow. <laughs> That's the best kind. Anyway, we're saying bye-bye. See ya to Quartzsite for the year. Yep. So it's our last sunset. This is it. And we are not by the infamous cactus. Sure we are. A new infamous cactus. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a new infamous cactus. in April in Quartzsite. Look at all this traffic. Turn left on Central Boulevard. Alrighty, Quartzsite. See ya in the winter. Maybe. <laughs> maybe. Who knows where we're going? Here we go again, but maybe. See ya for the 22-23 snowbird season.
Find the moment and make it.